The technique I will show you now has helped me many times to make my clients happy. On the first Yakari album in particular, I used this trick on the instrument bus to emphasize the stereo width of the mixes in a controlled way. The Fairchild 670 is often referred to as the father of all compressors, and it was probably the first one to offer the option of the so-called Ludwig compression. In the past, this rather special form of dynamic processing was mainly used in the vinyl cut to prevent the turntable stylus from jumping out of the groove if the stereo image was too wide. We use this mid-side compression to widen the sound as much as possible without losing its mono compatibility. Let me show you exactly how to do this with a free version of Hofer's system. That way you can reproduce everything on your computer with your DAW. You can find the link to the Hofer system freeware in the info field below the video. This pretty thick drone sound is mainly playing in the center. That means it competes in the mix with a bass drum, snare drum, bass, vocals and other major elements of the production. Let me show you now with probably the most extreme form of Ludwig dynamic processing how to get this synth sound as wide as possible and create more space in the center. We insert Hofer system in the channel. As I said, all this can be done with the free version that I'm using here. Then we open the mid-side routing module in system. Let's drag the master limiter from the dynamics section into the side slot. Now we raise the input of the limiter until the reduction meter is almost always orange. The output should be set in a way that maintains mono compatibility. You can easily check this with the free Hofer for you goniometer and correlator or our analyzer. Just make sure that this indicator does not move to the lower area. Ok, I found a nice setting. It sounds like this. Without the Ludwig limiting, it was like that. Again with effect. As the side signal has been tweaked heavily by our processing, the sound becomes more prominent, but leaves more space in the mix for the bass drum, snare, bass and so on, which mainly play in the center. I have said that this was probably the most extreme form of Ludwig dynamic processing. Alright, I will now check out how it sounds with a saturator on the side signal. But maybe that's a topic for another tutorial. And to make sure you don't miss out, subscribe to this channel and stay informed about new audio engineering tutorials.